A year ago, famous American physicist and science communicator Michio Kaku shared his thoughts on six primordial galaxies discovered by the James Webb Telescope in an interview with NBC News. It takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. While some initially questioned his ideas, subsequent findings from the Webb telescope have increasingly supported his perspective, offering compelling evidence that challenges current models of galaxy formation. Early this year, the JWST discovered a galaxy called Glass Z13 formed just 290 million years after the Big Bang. Webb also found another galaxy candidate called Glass Z11, which formed 500 million years after the Big Bang. But our cosmic models suggest that the early universe, within the first billion years after the Big Bang, resembled a bustling construction zone. Galaxies and galaxy clusters were forming and evolving under the influence of gravity, laying the foundation for the modern universe we see today. And now the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered three galactic red monsters, which is what they are calling it, in the early universe, defying our current understanding of how the first galaxies formed. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. An international team led by the University of Geneva has identified three ultra-massive galaxies nearly as massive as the Milky Way, already in place within the first billion years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope's Fresco program enabled this astonishing discovery, utilizing the NERCAM GRISM spectrograph to precisely determine the distances and stellar masses of galaxies. The results of the study, published in Nature, indicate that the formation of stars in the early universe was far more efficient than our models predict. The favored theoretical model suggests that galaxies gradually form within large halos of dark matter. These halos pull in gas, creating gravitationally bound structures, and generally, only around 20% or less of this gas is converted into stars within galaxies. Yet, these recent findings challenge that perspective. The researchers suggest that massive galaxies in the early universe may have been far more efficient at forming stars compared to their later counterparts, growing at rates much faster than previously believed. The Webb Telescope's remarkable capabilities have enabled astronomers to investigate galaxies in the far reaches of the early universe and gain new perspectives on massive, dust-enshrouded galaxies. And the Fresco survey analysis shows that most of these galaxies align well with current theoretical models. But the data also revealed three extraordinarily massive galaxies, with stellar masses rivaling that of the Milky Way today. These galaxies are forming stars at almost twice the efficiency of their smaller counterparts and those seen in later eras. Because of their high dust content, which gives them a striking red hue in JWST images, they've earned the nickname Red Monsters. Our findings are reshaping our understanding of galaxy formation in the early universe said Dr. Xiao, lead author of the new study. The massive properties of these red monsters were hardly determined before JWST, as they are optically invisible due to dust attenuation, said Dr. David Elbez. Although these observations are consistent with the prevailing cosmological model, they present new challenges for galaxy formation theories, particularly concerning the presence of too many and too massive galaxies so early in the universe's history. To account for these massive early galaxies with highly efficient star formation, existing models may need to incorporate extraordinary mechanisms that allowed for such rapid development. The thing that makes these massive galaxies so surprising is that they exist so early when we don't think they should have had time to form," said Erica Nelson, assistant professor in the Department of Astrophysical and Planetary Sciences. It's like arriving home from work to check on your kitten and finding a cougar laying on your couch. While Nelson previously helped to identify several of the red monsters in a 2023 study, the new research takes an even closer look at several of these candidates, confirming that they are, in fact, as old and as large as they look. 
Somehow these galaxies managed to turn nearly all of their gas into stars in just a few hundred million years, the blink of a cosmological eye, said another scientist from the team. Future research using the Webb Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Array or ALMA will shed more light on these ultra-massive red galaxies and likely uncover additional examples of these early cosmic giants. Speaking of the ALMA telescope, here is another fascinating discovery from the beginning of the universe. An impossible galaxy. Enter Rebels 25, a galaxy discovered by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA telescope, that has turned everything we thought we knew about galaxy formation on its head. Astronomers were stunned to find that this distant galaxy, which formed just 700 million years after the Big Bang, looks surprisingly like our own Milky Way. It's a massive disk-like galaxy, with hints of spiral arms and even a central bar. This discovery has astronomers scratching their heads and asking, how could a galaxy so orderly exist when the universe was still in its infancy? Further observations of this galaxy revealed that it's not just any ordinary early galaxy, it's the most distant strongly rotating disk galaxy ever found. To confirm these findings, astronomers took a closer look with ALMA. The high-resolution data not only confirmed that Rebels 25 has a rotating disk but also hinted at other advanced features, like a central elongated bar and possibly the beginnings of spiral arms. These characteristics are more in line with mature galaxies like our Milky Way rather than one born so close to the Big Bang. So where does this leave our cosmology? Well, the discovery of Rebels 25 is shaking up our understanding of the early universe. It suggests that galaxies may have formed and evolved much faster than we previously thought, leaving scientists with exciting new mysteries to explore about the birth and growth of galaxies in the cosmos. But the biggest shockers came in October 2023 and January 2024, when the telescope discovered massive galaxies from the beginning of time. Recent analysis of the discovery points to an uncomfortable reality that could significantly alter the landscape of modern astronomy. According to the standard model, at some point around 200 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, the earliest generations of stars and galaxies began to appear, attracted to the foam-like dark matter filaments that had already begun to cluster throughout the universe. Galaxies started out small and grew over billions of years as a result of the merging and accretion of gas and dark matter. A galaxy like our Milky Way, we think, took one to two billion years to reach adolescence. However, in 2022, scientists in the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, or SEERS, used JWST's NERCAM instrument to peer back to a time just after the cosmic dark ages to study the structure of galaxies in the very early universe. The very early universe is supposed to be chaotic, so they weren't expecting a lot of these galaxies, but they found more of them than predicted. Not only that, these galaxies appear bigger and brighter than expected. That is not supposed to happen. Based on our most accurate models of the early universe's development, these galaxies shouldn't exist at such an early stage, or appear as they do. Then, in 2023, Webb's observations dropped another bomb. The telescope revealed several massive disk galaxies that had formed between 400 to 600 million years after the Big Bang, contradicting 99% of theoretical predictions altogether. Data from the Hubble telescope suggested that disk galaxies were almost non-existent until the universe was about 6 billion years old, but Webb results pushed the time these Milky Way-like galaxies form to almost the beginning of the universe. Scientists have tried to explain this with several possible reasons, such as earlier formation of supermassive black holes, effects from frequent supernovae, or the influence of dark energy. However, they don't have definitive answers yet. If only we knew that the problems with our models had just begun. In the beginning of 2023, scientists part of the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES program, spotted a galaxy very, very old. We named it Jade's GSC-14, and it had a companion with it, which was named Jade's GSC-14-1. Then, in October 2023, the Jade's team conducted even deeper imaging. That was followed by a 75-hour campaign to conduct spectroscopy, which confirmed that Jade's GSC-14 was indeed a record-breaking galaxy, formed only 290 million years after the Big Bang, and the fainter candidate, Jade's GSC-14-1, was nearly as far away. 
The interesting thing here is that not only is Jade's GSC-14 the oldest galaxy ever observed, it is surprisingly massive and bright. Further analysis revealed that the stars in the galaxy are around 90 million years older, which means they formed only 200 million years after the Big Bang. The data also revealed that the intense light emitted by the galaxy does not originate from a central black hole, but rather from a halo of young stars surrounding its core. The scientists suggest that the light is produced by bursts of new star formation, which they estimate have been occurring since about 200 million years after the Big Bang. But that's not where it stops being strange. Another unexpected discovery is its higher than anticipated levels of dust and oxygen, indicating a long history of star formation and death. Here's the thing though, the record holder might not enjoy the spotlight for long, as scientists are now speculating there might be galaxies even older than this one. These discoveries challenge our current understanding of the early universe's formation and raise interesting questions. Did stars and galaxies in the early universe have characteristics vastly different from those observed today? Could star formation have occurred at a more rapid and effective pace in the universe's early stages? Is it possible that the light from these primordial objects was emitted in previously unseen ways due to the different chemical makeup of the early universe? How might these findings affect our most advanced models of galaxy evolution? A team of astronomers set out to find the answer, zeroing in on three massive galaxies in the early universe, now termed as little red dots. They found that these objects were emitting light from stars that appear to be shockingly old. The galaxies themselves seem to have formed 700 million years after the Big Bang and look nothing like their counterparts in the modern universe. While 700 million years might appear as an exceptionally lengthy period following the Big Bang, considering that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, these little red dots existed when the universe was just 5% of its present age. However, when scientists studied the intensity of different wavelengths of light coming from the little red dots, they found something startling. The stars show signs that they are hundreds of millions of years old, and according to our theories, they are not expected to inhabit the universe so early on. To make matters complicated, the researchers also identified signs of supermassive black holes in the areas surrounding these small red dots, which are thousands of times bigger than Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. An in-depth analysis of these objects' light spectra confirmed that they are galaxies from the very dawn of time. This revealed that the impressive light output of the red dots is powered by overgrown supermassive black holes and unexpectedly old stars. This implies that these galaxies are either surprisingly old and more massive than the Milky Way, having formed much earlier than models predict, or they have normal amounts of mass but unusually large black holes. What also sets these primordial galaxies apart from the rest is that despite harboring nearly as many stars as the Milky Way, they appear significantly smaller. To provide perspective, if the Milky Way were scaled down to the size of one of these red dot galaxies, the closest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, which is 4.2 light years away, would reside within our solar system. In fact, the distance between Earth and Sagittarius A would shrink from 26,000 light years to just 26 light years, making it visible in the night sky from Earth. It's very confusing, said Joel Leja, an astrophysicist at Penn State and one of the scientists behind this discovery. You can make this uncomfortably fit in our current model of the universe, but only if we evoke some exotic, insanely rapid formation at the beginning of time. While the standard model of cosmology and galaxy formation have been incredibly successful, these luminous objects do not quite fit comfortably into our theories. So what's next? The team now plans to further investigate these puzzling red dots to gain a deeper understanding of their mysteries. They aim to conduct extended observations using the JWST to capture detailed emission spectra of various elements from these objects. With programs such as the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, we may soon unravel these mysteries and uncover new facets of cosmic history. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let me know. If you like our videos, please consider becoming a member to support our work and don't forget to subscribe to Territory.
because this is your space.